BASE26 encoding and the RSA algorithm. Example 1. Encode HELP in numerical form by using the given formula. First thing we want to do is look up the codes corresponding to the letters in HELP. H, E, L, P, so H is 7, E is 4, L is 11, and P is 15. So we're using this formula where X4 is the 7 corresponding to the H, X3 is the 4 from E, X2 is 11, and X1 is P. So plugging those values into the formula, We've got 7 times 26 cubed, plus 4 times 26 squared, plus 11 times 26, plus 15. That gives us 126,037. And that is the numerical form of the word help in base 26 encoding. Now in example 2, we want to decode 196,045 as a four-letter word, assuming we had used that same encoding formula from the previous example. So we're going to calculate the value of x4 first. So we take the 196,045 divide by 26 cubed, and it goes in 11 times, so x4 is 11. Then we want to subtract off 11 times 26 cubed because we've just used that, we get 2,709. We're going to divide that by 26 squared to figure out x3, and that is 4. Again, we'll figure out the remainder. 2,709 minus 4 this time times 26 cubed squared gives us 5. Next, we would divide that by 26 squared, but obviously 26 squared does not go into 5, so x2 is 0 and the remainder is 5. Last thing we're going to do is look up those letter codes. 11 is L, 4 is E, 0 is A, and 5 is F. So our code word here is LEAF. Example 3. Desmond has published the modulus M equals 26,167 and exponent e equals 7. We're going to use three letter base 26 encoding this time instead of four letter and then the RSA algorithm to encipher the word by as a message to Alex. So there's two steps to this. First of all we need to use three letter base 26 encoding to encipher the word by and then we'll use the RSA algorithm with the given values of m and e to encipher or encrypt that word. So for three letter base 26 encoding, the highest power of 26 is going to be 26 squared. So the code for B is 1 times 26 squared. Code for Y is 24 times 26 plus the code for E is 4 and we add that on. So our base 26 encoding of the word by is 1304. Next, we want to encrypt that using the RSA algorithm. To do that, we're going to take that message, 1304, we're going to raise it to the seventh power, and then we want to reduce it, mod 26,167. These numbers get very large quickly, so you may not be able to use your calculator for it, and we may need to use Mathematica. In Mathematica, the command I want is power mod, and it's 1304 that I'm raising to the seventh power, mod 26,167, and the result is 18,278. So that's the encrypted message that is sent. Desmond has shown in primes p equals 131 and q equals 163, and exponent e equals 7. We want to encipher or encrypt the following message in block mode. We're using three-letter blocks 
and writing the resulting number as a five decimal digit numbers, padding with leading zeros where necessary. And the message is study hard. I've broken up the message into blocks of three. The first three letters are STU for study. And the letter codes for those letters are 18, 19, and 20, respectively. Then we want to use base 26 encoding on that. So we've got 18 times 26 squared plus 19 times 26 plus 20 gives us 12,682. Now we want to do the same thing with D, Y, H. D is 3. Y is 24. H is 7. We'll use those values to do our base 26 encoding. So we've got 3 times 26 squared plus 24 times 26 plus 7, giving us Then we look up the codes for A, 0, R, 17, and D, 3, and do the base 26 encoding on those values. 0 times 26 squared plus 17 times 26 plus 3 gives us 445. Now we want to encrypt that message in block mode. To encrypt the message, we've got to take each one of these individual values separately, raise it to the E power, mod M, where M, the modulus for the RSA algorithm, is P times Q. Again, these numbers are fairly large and probably too big for your calculator, so we're once again going to call on Mathematica. So here is the Mathematica code we'll need to accomplish this. I enter the values of P and Q, and remember the semicolon at the end of the line suppresses output, so when you execute this you just won't see a repeat back of those values. Similarly, E, and M is P times Q. If you list those variables with a space, Mathematica assumes multiplication, so it'll calculate that correctly. The base 26 in code values that we calculated from above are there, and then the encrypted message, so I've created a variable called encrypted message, is going to be the base 26 in code values, all those values on the list, to the e power mod m, and power mod is the command for that. And here are our results. So that is the encrypted message that we will send for study hard. Example 5. Desmond has chosen the primes p equals 131 and q equals 163 and the exponent e, 15,043, to encrypt messages. We want to decrypt the following message in block mode. Assume each block of five decimal digits represents a block of three letters. So this is the reverse of the previous example. We've now got an encrypted message here. And first, we want to decrypt it using the RSA algorithm. And then those numerical values will represent blocks of three letters in base 26 encoding. So recall with the RSA algorithm, the modulus is P times Q. We use the exponent E to encrypt, and we need to figure out the key, D, which is the inverse of E mod phi of M. And that's the exponent we use to decrypt the message. So we're going to have to figure out the, calculate the inverse of E mod phi of M, and then use that to decrypt the message. So you're all very good at calculating inverses right now, but to calculate the inverse of 15,043, we're going to 
we're going to use Mathematica for that calculation. Here's the Mathematica code we need for this problem. I've entered the values of P, Q, E, and M. Then we calculate D, the modular inverse of E mod phi of M. And the command in Mathematica for the phi function is Euler phi. And then the encrypted message we were given is here. And I want to calculate the base 26 encoded message. So I take the encrypted message, I raise it to the d power mod m, and that's the power mod command. And this it gives us the results, which again, we're thinking of these as base 26 encoding of three letter words. So the last thing we've got to do is convert those back to the corresponding letters. So 4,747, we're going to divide that by 26 squared, and 26 squared goes in seven times, and then we'll calculate the remainder, divide that by 26, and the remainder is 15, so it's 0 times 26 plus 15. Similarly, 10,767, we're going to divide by 26 squared, and we see that goes in 15 times. Calculate the remainder and see how many times 26 goes into that, and it turns out 24 times with a remainder of 3. Lastly, we'll do the same for 642. And 642 is 0 times 26 squared plus 24 times 26 plus 18. Now we're going to look up the letter codes corresponding to these coefficients, 7, 0, and 15. And our 7 gives us H, our 0 gives us A, and our 15 gives us P. The next three letters will be 15, 24, and 3. We look those values up in the table. 15 is P, 24 is Y, 3 is D. The last three values we need to look up are 0, 24, and 18. 0 represents A again, 24 represents Y again, and 18 is S. So our message is happy days. So I hope you're having a happy day, and that helps. Have a good one. Bye.